I just thought that I would open up these pods. I was given these pods quite a long time ago. They are drumstick pods and I've actually seen a drumstick tree growing on the verge just down the road. Now I thought I would open these up to see what the pods actually, what the beans look like and whether they might be, whether I might be able to grow them. They're extremely dried out. These, I can't tell you how long these have been sitting here on this bench, probably I would say at least two years, but yeah, the, uh, the insides of these is really, really dried out. I really don't like my chances of germinating these. Wet them and put them in a bag, in a um, Ziploc bag with some wet paper towel and that will keep them as moist as they're going to be and these are really dried up and I am really not very hopeful that these will be germinatable or that they will grow. It's not meant to look like that but I guess when it gets dried out left in a laundry for a couple of years that's what happens. So I will give it a try. I also will probably wander down the street and ask the gentleman down the street if I can have a pot off his tree. So that's it. That's a Moringa or drumstick tree pod. So here we are. I'm just soaking these Moringa seeds in water to attempt to rehydrate them. We will see how that goes. And I have prepared a, a Ziploc bag with a piece of paper towel in there that is nice and moist. So I will let these soak. I will probably let these soak overnight actually because they are so dried out. So this is the next day and goodness me, here are these Moringa seeds that I took out of those really dried up pods yesterday. Uh, I'm not sure if you saw that video or not. If you didn't, I'll put a link here somewhere or at the end of this video so you can have a look at that. Um, but I found these really dried up pods of Moringa or drumstick, drumstick tree, it's called. Um, but the seeds were so dried up. It's been sitting here in my laundry for like two years. They were dried up. So I've left them sitting in water overnight and wow they have rehydrated really well um, i'm not too sure whether this means that they're now viable seed i'm not 100 percent convinced that they are viable seed but i may as well have a go at growing them. i have uh, prepared as you saw in the previous video this ziploc bag inside of it i have placed a piece of paper towel that i've moistened so I am going to pop the seeds in here against the um, paper towel and leave them in there on my kitchen windowsill and we will see what happens. I'm not too sure whether this is a good time to do this because Moringa is typically deciduous here in Perth, Western Australia where I live and we are now in autumn. We're um, early April now so we're one month into our autumn. And so this is probably not the best time of year to try and germinate these seeds because the plants are usually going to sleep at this time of year. But nothing ventured, never nothing gained. So I'm going to give this a go. I'll try germinating these seeds and we'll see what happens. I do have a very small hot house outside that I could put these in for the winter to try and encourage them. Um, but I still could also keep them in the house, which will be quite warm. And I do get northern sun too, so let's see. So just to finish this video off, here are the seeds inside the Ziploc bag with the um, paper towel that is going to keep them moist. And that is off to my kitchen windowsill. And I'll see what happens. If anything really exciting happens, I will check in again and let you know. Bye.